What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Elden Ring boss guide. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you were doing well today. We are going to be trying to take out a certain mini boss, so to speak, an overworld boss that gives us three death roots, some spirit ashes, and a really cool weapon. So this is kind of three parts into one here. Uh, we're, gonna just, we're just gonna find all three of his locations and take him out in one video. So I hope you're ready to have some fun and go on a little journey here um, and see if we can if we can find this guy and take him out and then get some cool loot in the process. So I'm um, just trying to um, get rid of this little pest right here. Uh, hitting him with the swarm of flies there, doing some, some bleed chip damage and boom, Moonveil Katana. Slicing him up. Oh, okay, that was, um, I forgot about that. That was an actually uh, a pretty rare drop there to get that prayer book. That's gonna give us some new incantations, which is pretty awesome. You take that to, um, you can take it to the Church of Vows and get you some new spells. So here we go. You're gonna find this guy in this little, little moat, little lake thingy here. A uh, little pond, rather. And if you got Rock Sling, just, just go for that. You can use it on horseback, which is pretty nice. But I, again, I'm pretty high level here, coming back late game. And just trying to have some fun here, testing out some new spells. He will summon some skeletons, which can only be really killed a couple of ways. Uh, holy damage is the best way. So we're going to be using this proper death incantation here to just disintegrate those guys to the wind scatter them like pieces of dust and he's gonna he's gonna change locations here you're gonna have to track him down a little bit here there's plenty of loot to gather in these little these little pond areas here so again you can use horseback here I didn't really need to cast a summon on this one so just just went with my rock sling and just gotta make sure you're targeting him in <laughs> I was just going way over way over there for some reason so getting off the horse and just trying to trying to track this guy down he doesn't have a whole lot of health but he does move around so if you don't really get those hits in he's gonna you're just gonna have to keep tracking him down so gonna try the lightning spear here it has a really cool AOE uh, explosion there it didn't quite hit him though but that one did. That one got him there with the um, the forward AOE, and this guy just is ruining my day. So we're just gonna back up a little bit here. I'm gonna take this guy out. Little black flame shot that in the wrong direction. Got stabbed in the back. So <laughs> that's where this game is really tricky. That's that's really what makes this game difficult, to be honest. Is the targeting and the controls and the dodging and all that stuff in, in the heat of battle. That's really what makes the game difficult. Just trying to maneuver and target and all that stuff. So trying the magma shout here didn't do anything to this guy. So we may just go back to the rock sling here. These guys are really just getting on my nerves. So a little glintstone arc there. Pretty early game spell. And we're just trying to just trying to find this guy so we can move on to the next one here. Let's just go with the Moonblade. Pretty awesome sorcery here. Turns your, your staff into a giant magical blade with a mini projectile at the end. And boom. There we go. First tibia down. Got us a skeletal bandit ash and a death root. All right, all right. So here we go. On to the next. All right. So here we are right around the next area here at the Erdtree Gazing Hill. Up right above the Grand Lift. Above these ruins here, we're going to be going just up the cliffside here to those little empty ruins up there. So, again, we're here pretty late game trying to take out these bosses, get this loot, and finish this little mini side quest here. Uh, getting some death roots here. This guy will give us three death roots and a couple of cool items as well. A really cool weapon and that spirit ash that we got, got summoned from the first one. So just going up here, up the cliffside here. 
Again, pretty easy to find this guy, pretty easy to take him out. So bring your favorite gear, bring your favorite weapons, and bring your favorite spells. Just wanted to show you where this guy is at and what he's going to be capable of. Now this this battle here, he ha actually has a giant, giant skeleton coming out of the moat there that, that can uh, really do some damage to you. So you may need a Spirit Ash on this one just to get that guy off of you right there just missed that giant swipe um, and again this guy will teleport around this pond area so you're gonna have to keep moving I definitely recommend staying on torrent here and I still got hit right there but don't worry about that skeleton I actually killed one and it gave me absolutely nothing so don't worry about that skeleton they're not very fast just get around him and look for this guy and we're going to go try to end this early here. And we're going to just use the Moonblade and try to find this guy. So Omen Killer is out there. He's going to be helping us out, distracting whatever is around the area. So we can get on with this quest here. Alright. Hello Mr. Tibia. How are you doing today? Would you like a piece of my blade? And then again, he's going to summon multiple skeletal warriors there so just do what you can stay on torrent though unless you're a melee monster really no need to not use your horse there and <laughs> that giant skeleton just showing no remorse taking out all of this dude's summons so that worked out for us there and again rock sling go to sorcery especially if you have an upgraded staff and you have high intelligence boom second tibia down Omen Killer still putting in work, taking those hits, setting them ablaze, and there's our death root here. And another summon. Awesome. Let's keep moving here. Alright, so here we are in the final area for this third death root. Up here north, right by Castle Soul. You can spawn there at the Snow Valley Ruins Overlook and just go a little bit northwest to that this cliffside here, and you're gonna find this guy in a much much smaller area this time which is nice and you're gonna be able to look down on him from this cliffside here so just going up northwest going to the edge of these rocks watch out for the that glitching shadow when you see it says the beast eye quivers that means you're getting close so here he is right down here and I tried to um, jump down and dragon shout on this guy while I was in the air but it didn't quite reach him but just a really cool a really cool thing with the dragon shouts you can actually do them in the air which is pretty sweet unfortunately I missed him right there and I should have ran back up and did it again but here is this dragon shout this ruin that you get from the dragon lord pretty awesome but for whatever reason didn't do a lick of damage to this guy so we got the Moon Veil Katana. Watch out for that little snail snake behind you and in front of you. They roll up and attack you. And this guy has a little a, a little AOE blast shockwave there that just took out both of those snakes. But here we go. Got him trapped here on the corner. Going back to our shout. Just trying to have some fun taking this guy out. That shout's pretty particular though as far as its range and its area that it, that it hits. So. Just use your best stuff here. Take this guy out. Just watch out for these little snake snails. And boom. There you go. You're going to get that new weapon and that third death root to take back up to the, the beast man up there in northeast Kaled. Up there above the bridge. Um, and then there you go. Let's check out this weapon. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool view too. Make sure you check out the views too while, while you're here pretty awesome stuff so here's that weapon we got Hellfen's steeple it's a pretty awesome ghost flame great sword pretty cool stuff here so most weapons most special weapons have unique skills so when you have them equipped in your right hand and you hit the left trigger you're gonna activate its special ability and this one drenches itself in ghost flame which can set the enemies ablaze uh, and do some pretty cool damage there. It's awesome stuff. 
Nice job. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this guide. Hope you had fun. Check out the views here in this amazing game. If you like this video, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. It really helps me out. And until next time, peace.